All right, so here's the mock-up. Looking pretty sexy. Feels really solid. The uh, kit, frame kit, came with two types of screws of two different diameters. Um, so one set was longer than the other set. I guess that's for the Frog Race Light, which is technically heavier than the straight Frog Race. Um, but that's the Chinese manufacturer's name. In any case, I kind of use both some of the longer screws and shorter screws to get that minute bit of extra structural integrity. This screw is one of the longer screws that pokes through there. It's, it's cosmetically not great, but the shorter screw is only coming up maybe just a few millimeters up into the frame here. And I, I wanted, you know, for the screw to come uh, utilize the frame a little better um, and get, get that marginal or minute extra structural integrity. So here I use the longer screws, shorter screws here, longer screws wouldn't fit. And on top I use longer screw here, short, and I think short here or long here. <clears throat> In any case, this is the mock-up. All right, so let's take a look at the weight. I don't know if you could see my scale here. Let's tear it out. Zero grams. The frame itself is coming up at 82. And then, you know, with the battery plate, it's come up as 86 grams. 86 grams for the frame. Now, the frame kit did come with some extra parts. I guess this is for the stack to sit on top of the stack, maybe a little extra protection and a place to put, you know, stick your uh, other component like uh, receiver or VTX. Um, but I'm being a noob and being a personal risk taker, I went ahead and I ordered some parts that are, you know, unproven, including this frame. So I got the Foxier 16 by 9. 1200 TVL camera. Um, that guy, Kebab, gave it rave reviews, and this is the monster, Foxier Monster. Um, you know, I got the Sky Zone goggles. They have 16 by 9 capability. I, you know, if you had to sit there and watch a television at 4 by 3, you would die. Now, I know most professionals like 4 by 3, they're used to it. Um, but you know, it's going to go 16.9 eventually. And of course it's going to go 16.9 full HD eventually. Uh, so why not try some of these new technologies? Roll the dice, got this camera, pretty excited. It's a, uh, what is it? 2.5 millimeter lens. I think the field of view is pretty wide. I don't know the exact amount, but I will get that information. And then I took a bigger roll of the dice here. And I got the Fly Tower all in one. What is it? VTX F4 flight controller and 40 amp ESC. Pretty sick if it works, but now I'm seeing some videos online of failure with some of the ESCs, potentially due to temperature over, uh, problems. So I'm going to have to put it together and find out. In any case, the construction and the workmanship on this ESC and flight control looks pretty solid. I mean, I, it looks clean, it looks good. Of course, only time will tell. It's got D-Shot capable, you know. If it works, it's going to be sick. It's going to be awesome, but who knows? We'll see. It's got the, uh, you know, SD card, micro SD card for a black box. And this size is the VTX, and it comes with a heat sink as well. You attach to it. This is the antenna connector right here. So, next step is to put it together, but I'm leaving on vacation, so I might not be able to do that for a week or two, which sucks because if there's a problem with this all in one flight controller, I want to tell the retailer and or manufacturer immediately. What can you do? Awesome. I'm gonna start putting pieces together. Also, you know, I'm gonna use the standard Racer Star 2205, 2300 KV motor. 
super bargain, super value. Not the best motor, but probably one of the best values out there. All right. Peace.